Hi, Leo. It's Jeffrey. It's Red Color. This is your reading for the week of September 5th through the 12th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Um, you can book a private reading. You could book an IET session. IET is a healing modality that I administer. We could do it over Zoom. We could do it over the telephone. Um, I have a lovely line of astrology t-shirts and one-of-a-kind t-shirts and scarves and bags and all different kinds of things. All on my website, brightcolor.com. Thanks for tuning in. Um, also, the September readings are up for all signs, so please go check them out. Let's get started with your reading. Okay. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you had a heavy reading last week. Well, there might be another heavy one. Honey. All right. I think you're going to be able, I think you're going to have a realization about um, some past event, some past memory where you, you saw yourself as bound, where you saw yourself as owing something to somebody, where you saw yourself, um, I think you're gonna have a, like a deeper understanding of a relationship or some past uh, situation. And it's gonna become very clear um, as the, the unhealthiness of it the uh, toxicity of it, the, uh, no boundary energy of it. Okay, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> you know, it's a big week because it's Labor Day. It's a Jewish New Year. It's uh, the new moon. So there's an energy of the year beginning now, right? Of something new switching. You know, because we're getting into that last quarter. We're getting into that. You know, as Virgo comes, Virgo and Libra, like the, like the darkness, you know, like the, the light changes and we're able to see things in the dark that we hadn't really been able to see before. Mm. Okay. All right. It's almost as if, I know it's kind of heavy, you know. Um, all right. It's like there's a piece of you that was stolen. That's the realization. There was this piece of you that was stolen, that was taken from you. And because you have a deeper understanding now, and be able to, and you're able to see it, like really from a, a, an observational uh, point. Not from um, being not not being in the middle of it, but you know it's like stepping away and looking at a situation. I think you're going to be able to really uh, bring back this piece of yourself and heal and build something new and build something new, like a, a new you, um, a more enhanced you. You know, it's like the missing piece of the puzzle is finally back and it's like, oh God, I've been looking for you forever. You might not have even have been aware of it, but I feel like there's gonna be some sort of revelation because the reason that this revelation happened, it doesn't just float around, it's because you were willing to look for it. And it's complete. And it's complete and you're able to start a new story. The story. It's, it's really, this is profoundly, like, profound. Yeah. And knowing, I was watching this um, little thing on YouTube, and it was about some, um, I can't remember, it doesn't matter. It was about some injustice, right? And now 
Morris comes to light and they spoke to the guy's mother. And she was like, God's always on time. I'm like, you got a girl. God's always on time. Yeah, you're going to be able to release yourself from bondage, from your own self imposed bondage that of, of a memory of the past because you've been able, because you're willing to sacrifice. There's an interesting, you know, it's like you sacrificed maybe the anger or you sacrificed the uh, something that, you know, you were holding on to something and now you like kind of let go of it and you're able to see the toxicity for what it was and understand the thievery. You're gonna be able to heal yourself. It's done. The timing was perfect. You're done with the self-imposed bondage and you're ready to build something. Yeah, because you want more satisfaction, because you want more, because you want more, right? Yeah, you want a bigger life, you want a bigger understanding, you want uh, more abundance, more um, life, more life. Does the color keep on changing for you too? It does for me. Every time I do this, I'm sort of orange. And when I do this, I'm sort of pink. It's very weird. Um, it's a miracle. I, I don't know if it's changing for you, but it does for me. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. You know what I mean? And in a different light and different perspective, everything is new. Everything is different. It's the same, but it's different. And I feel like, you know, you've been willing to look and go in and see and observe the past and say, oh, that's what we do. And I'm not getting the sense of bitterness. I'm getting a sense of um, release and a sense of um, peace. Peace. Yeah. Big time reading. This was a big time reading. Uh, you're not alone. You know, it, it, it feels like, uh, well, it, it is. It, it, it also feels like, you know, a lot of us are dredging up like ghosts of our past in order to release them, in order to release them, in order to move forward, in order to have a fuller life, in order to be more in your body, more in your mind, more in your soul more in your um, uh, carrying less baggage on the road, right? You know, you're, you're more centered on the road that you're on. That's what's going on. It's going on for everybody. But it was very clear in this reading, very. Blessings to you. God is always on time. Blessings.